hey guys welcome back to my chanel um if you guys are new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by as you guys can see from the title of this video if y'all always see me playing with my hair i don't know i'm I'm always messing with my hair. I don't know why. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is a story time, but it's a subscriber story time. I'm trying to get up on my subscriber story times this month. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all are probably only going to get two of my story times this month because this month is the month of october and if you guys already know how october be giving it up this is the month of vlogtober so i am not going to be participating in vlogtober because that's damn near i think that's posting like every day i think i am not going to be participating in vlogtober i'm going to be dropping a lot of vlogs for you guys this month so i'm going to be focusing more on my vlogs this month than my story time but it's okay y'all y'all are still gonna get at least two good story times for me and you guys are also going to get a lot of subscriber story times for me y'all gonna get a lot of vlogs for me because i know some i know like it's a little chunk of y'all that love my vlog so just stay on the lookout keep on the lookout so let's get started let's get started i don't want to ramble okay this story time is titled and also y'all before i continue if you would like to submit a story time to you my email to me my email is in the description box down below so make sure your story is long enough for me to be able to read it for the whole video and also make sure your grammar is correct so proofread before you send it to me so let's get started let's get started let's get started hey miss irene here's my submission for the subscriber story time the names included in the story time me clara best friend ira uh best friend's enemy light pole friend of light pole t grizzly <laughs> best friend best friend old crush lucky so this all happened in my senior year of high school for context ira used to have a crush on this guy named lucky since sophomore year but over time since covid came around she stopped liking him and they just ended up being friends and i wish we never did it Ooh, yay. and i wish we never loved it there was also this other girl that i was really good friends with named lipo and she told me over the course of quarantine that she and lucky used to date and whatnot but she broke things off due to personal reasons and that was back in mid 2020 fast forward to 2021 it was our senior year and of course it was our first year being back in person since the beginning of 2020 so i guess everything was becoming new and whatnot and there was this new girl in new girl in my class named t grizzly girl why you what <laughs> why you named that girl t grizzly like did she really look like t grizzly because when you said t grizzly i'm over here thinking you talking about the rapper i'm over here thinking you talking about a boy i didn't know you was talking about a girl like did she really look like the female version of t grizzly you gotta let me know and I know you submitted this story time a while ago to me, so you probably, yeah, you probably off me. You probably off of me. You probably like, this bitch ain't read my story, but you gotta let me know. Like, does she look like the female version of T Grizzly or not? Like, what's going on? I'm gonna give you a description on how she look. Okay, yeah, clap that T, clap that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Y'all know what I love about my subscribers? They know how I be giving it up. Like, the people who watch me, they know what to do. Because I know what to do. So we know what to do. Because whenever I tell my story times, I always give y'all a description. So I like that she said, let me give you a description. That means that she been watching me. It was five, six, seven, or five, seven, had these snake chameleon looking ass eyes. Her braids were always hang hanging by a damn thread. <laughs> T Grizzly dress do be hanging. It should be right here, yeah. <laughs> Sis had crisscross bottom teeth. She was built like a bodyguard. And remember a guy a member a guy friend of mine said in a group chat that she was built like T Grizzly. <laughs> after I sent a picture of how she looked, after I sent a picture on how she looked like, she was the new girl and irrelevant. So that's why I gave her that name. So, anyways, this whole situation all started when Ira and Lipo and I. So Ira's your friend, Lipo is the boy that she used to like, but they're just friends now. So happy to get in the middle by association so it happened back in october and at our high school like every october they would have this halloween night event after school and all the students would come back to the school later on and enjoy the event or whatnot 
So basically, Ira Lipo and two of the other friends went to the event and I guess Lucky was wondering if Ira was going. So he told her that he would go to the event if Ira goes. So that was his only reasoning. And I, of course, didn't go because I knew that shit was going to be lame and whack. So I didn't even bother. And as what I expected, the event was a disaster. So we had our own friend group chat that included Ira, Lipo, and the other friends. So I'm guessing after the whole event, Lipo was fuming and started going off on Ira. And basically, she got mad at Ira because I guess Ira was spending more time with Lucky. Okay, okay, y'all. I made a mistake. Ira and Lipo are friends. Lucky is the guy friend that Ira used to like, but they became friends later on. I, I said it wrong. I guess Lipo is mad at Ira because Ira was spending too much time with Lucky at the Halloween event. I was spending more time with Lucky at the event than she was with Lipo and the other two friends and the other friends names are going to be Gigi and Ring. So Ira is basically that friend where she was like the main foundation friend. She basically was the glue of the group. So Ira was basically trying to find a balance between hanging out with the girls and also hanging out with Lucky. So Lipo was most definitely feeling some type of way that Ira and Lucky was around each other the whole time. But the thing is, as well as, is that Gigi and Ring felt a way too because, but they didn't make it a huge deal like how Lipo did. Because they weren't really friends or cool with Lucky like that anyways. So they didn't really care. And of course, Lipo was the main one who felt some type of way because of course like I previously said Lucky and Lipo used to date so I'm guessing when Ira was hanging around Lucky I guess it sparked some type of jealousy in her and that's why she went off the way she did which is stupid because I feel like she should have told Ira about what went on between them but she never did eventually told Ira later on but anyways okay 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 so in the beginning I was about to say that um Lipo was right for feeling some type of way. Now that you have told me that Lipo has yet to tell, uh, what's her face? Have yet to tell Ira that she has been with Lucky. They have had a past fling. I kind of understand why Lipo is doing too, like Lipo's doing too much because if you're not gonna tell this girl I used to mess with him or that used to be my little yeah, you can't get mad at the fact that she's hanging out with him because she has no idea. Like she's out the loop. You left her out the loop and she just sees it as you doing a lot. Like she don't see it as, oh, okay, I used to mess with him. So, you know, try to refrain from bringing him around or from hanging around him when I'm there. Like if you say that her as a, your friend, she should follow those directions. But if she not gonna say nothing but just catch attitudes, it just gives off that she doing too much. It gives off that she's doing way too much, you know? That's why she was going off in the group chat and Ira was being very calm with the whole situation and even apologized to Lipo because of course she wasn't intentionally intentionally trying to leave them out or anything, but Lipo was not going for it. She basically told Ira that she was no that she no longer wanted to be friends with her and she basically cut her off. Everyone in the group chat, including me, was mad confused because in our eyes, we really didn't see the whole situation being that deep for Lipo to cut her off. And all that happened on like a Friday. And also, let's not mention why I said the whole Halloween event was a disaster was because, number one, the new freshmen at the school were being childish. They ended up making an entire mess by spilling buckets of fake blood all over the floor. Childish. Ugh, freshmen. And y'all know the funny thing? Because when I was like, okay, so we didn't, okay. So for me, when I was a freshman, the way, if you guys watch my videos, y'all know this, when I was a freshman, the, the high school that I went to, it was a freshman campus only. So it was literally just ninth graders and then you walk down the street and then they had main campus and main campus was 10th, 11th and 12th. So we didn't really get to deal with, you know how like when you're a freshman, people will pick at you and be like, ew, freshman, you're a freshman, this, this and that. We didn't really get like, we didn't get that treatment because we were all freshmen, you know what I mean? But I used to think that when people be like, ugh, freshmen, that it was only for high school. But it's that way for college, too. Like, I remember when we were in college, the freshmen used to irk my soul. Like, they just did too much. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like their maturity level was so low. Like, they just did way too much in college. And I'm over here thinking, we all adults now. That, no, like, the freshmen were very childish in college, too. Like, ugh. 
The freshness used to irritate me. I'm not gonna hold you. Ended up making an entire mess by spilling buckets of fake blood all over the floor. Number two, the art teacher who was in charge of the whole of the whole event ended up having a full blown meltdown due to the mess that they caused. And number three, one of my other friends accidentally butted out her dad. And mind you, she's African, so I guess he thought. He overheard the sound of gunshots going off in the school, but the whole time it was just some boys popping balloons, which led to her dad calling the police to the school. <laughs> the fact that you said she was African makes this shit way more funnier because I can already imagine her dad saying, Hey, my daughter, my daughter is a, my daughter is at school and I'm hearing I'm hearing gunshots from my daughter. Hurry up, get to the school. Fast. Bitch, I can already imagine that. <laughs> I can already imagine that. <laughs> so within the whole <laughs> I can imagine that in my head, which makes it so funny. So within the whole month after the whole situation, I was definitely in the middle because I was still friends with Lipo and I was going to still be friends with Ira. But at, honestly, it was very much mutual on both ends. I guess Ira texted a question in the group chat. Mind you, Lipo was still in the group chat and you would think she would leave the group chat after all the shit she pulled. Ira asked something about the along the lines of who wanna be who wanna be added to a new group chat because I don't want any snakes to be added. Okay. <laughs> Ira didn't need to do all that. Okay? Like if you're not cool, like the way we do it, because I have been in many friend groups and I have been in many group chats. If we fall out with somebody in the GM, we just make a new GM. You know what I mean? Like, if we fall out with one person in the GM, we just gonna go make a new GM and go about our business. Like, we're not gonna go inside the GM and be like, who wants to be added to the new GM? Because I don't want no snakes in my new GM, especially considering the fact that she only fell out with one person in the group chat. She didn't fall out with multiple people to where she could even say that, make that comment and make it make sense. She only fell out with one person in the GM. And at that point, it just looks like she looking for trouble, if you get what I mean. But even though Lipo was wrong with the situation, I can to a certain, like Lipo was wrong, but she wasn't. This is where Lipo was wrong. Lipo was wrong because she should have told Ira that she messed with that boy. But Lipo wasn't wrong because I would feel some type of way too. But at the end of the day, because she did not tell Ira that she messed with that boy, she cannot feel some type of way. But where Ira is wrong is she don't come inside a GM and make, like she looking for trouble. You know what I mean? Like what, like, I don't understand how, like, I don't understand how you're not looking for trouble making that type of comment. Like, if you're looking for trouble, you can literally just make a new GM with everybody except for Lipo and keep it pushing. And Lipo doesn't have to know that there's a new GM. Like, and then y'all can still coexist in that other GM. And really, all Ira had to do was leave that GM, make a new GM with y'all, and then y'all still coexist with Lipo in that GM because you said that you were keeping everything neutral. And then you go to the other GM and you co exists with um what's her face with with old girl but ira didn't need to come in the gm and say that like she was looking for trouble you know lipo took that as a jab because she knew ira was throwing shade so lipo texted me privately questioning me on who ira was talking about and i was honestly confused and didn't know but deep down i already knew lipo was about to start going off on me about ira i was getting tight and said she was gonna confront Ira tomorrow at school. And then Ira started calling me talking about who what did Lipo say about me. I let Lipo, I let Ira know what Lipo said. And I was confused or whatnot. She said she was gonna confront her tomorrow at school. And Ira told me that she was gonna ignore her tomorrow. And that's the thing, like if you gonna come in the gym and do that and you know that this girl's possibly going to confront you and you know that when she confronts you you're gonna ignore her why did you do that like it don't make sense like i, I don't like people who do stuff like that because it's like people will poke at you and then when you become the aggressor all of a sudden it's like oh lipo did too much no like you started it i don't care like you started it the situation was dead she told you she didn't want to be your friend no more you agreed that you didn't need to be her friend no more why'd you come in the gym and do that and then now all of a sudden you say that if she confronts you at school tomorrow you're gonna ignore her like it just looks like you're picking at her at this point you know what i mean and 
picking at her for what because you're in the right all in like ira was in the right up until she did what she did so it's no point for you to even do what you're doing you know the next day comes and i only have two classes in the morning with light pole and none with ira but ira and light pole had one class together so i guess throughout the school day during passive periods light pole was trying to get ira's attention and confront her by calling her name Ira ignored her. So about during our last period of the day, Lipo texted me telling me that what she tried to do and she was heated and was over it. She started calling her all types of bitches. And at that point, I was like, yeah, now you're going too far. And for what? And I started defending Ira. And in the midst of that, Ira also texted me about Lipo trying to talk to her. And then I told Ira what Lipo was saying about her. And Ira was tight and fed up with her so after the bell rang i ran my ass upstairs because i ran lipo had class up there and i was downstairs and then i seen ira was very pissed and then she seen lipo in the hallway and confronted her about what she said and i started and then they started arguing like crazy crowd started getting bigger and people started holding lipo back so i guess when they did that that's when she wanted to start doing the most being extra and then i guess one of the staff members came a few minutes after Things started getting crazy and only Ira got caught calling Lipol a bitch and they thought that she was bullying or threatening her so Ira got sent to the office and eventually so did Lipol. And afterwards they both got suspended for like one day and of course Ira was mad or whatnot. Okay. You said, babe. <laughs> hey babe, babe. <laughs> you said that you was being neutral but I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You're not really being neutral, okay? It's giving you're on Ira's side. And I understand. I understand why you're on Ira's side. You're on Ira's side because Ira was right. You know what I mean? Ira didn't do anything wrong. But you can't say that you're going to be neutral and then not be neutral. Because you're literally going back and you're telling Ira and you're reporting back to Ira what Lightpole is saying. That's not you being neutral. Like you being neutral would legit be you telling both of them y'all need to stop. And then if they don't stop you just sit back and you stay out of it but that's what neutral is like neutral is not you taking one person's side on certain on a certain situation neutral is not you going back and telling one person because the thing is you say you being neutral but you only telling Ira what Lipo is saying about her, but you not telling Lipo what Ira is saying about her. You only taking Ira's side, but you not taking Lipo's side. Like, both of them are right and wrong in this situation. This is not a situation where one party is wrong and the other party is right. Two of these parties are right and wrong. And if I'm tripping in the comments and y'all got other opinions about it, y'all let me know because I feel like both of them are wrong. Like, both of them have rights and both of them have wrongs in this story. Like, I don't think one person is right and one person is wrong, you know? Y'all let me know because I don't know. I don't know. Ira and our other friend, let's call her Kay, went to the restroom. And Ira was talking shit. And me and Kay were laughing like crazy. That's not neutral. <laughs> the way Ira was talking was funny. And I never seen that side of her. So I guess one of Light Post friends that we all used to be cool with came into the bathroom and saw us and started trying to catch herself trying to talk to Ira stupid. Ira quickly put her in check. And I guess she was mad at Ira talking shit about her friend and she was trying to defend her and she has no right to talk about her. Ira clearly did not care and brushed the girl off so she left. Afterwards, we went outside the school and we're just waiting for rides. Ira started fuming and there was some seniors outside as well and I heard them talking about the whole situation. So Ira was explaining to them why she got suspended and she got mad so so and she got so mad that she basically blurted out lipo's business and said and that's why you got your pussy ate in the back of kfc bitch the only thing that y'all supposed to be eating at kfc is chicken mac and cheese but y'all not supposed to be eating pussy at kfc bitch pussy ain't on the menu it's pussy on the menu because i'll dead ass go there and open my leg nah i'm just kidding but <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. Y'all need to take that shit over there to Popeyes. Bitch, keep that shit out. You know what? No, keep that shit in KFC because, bitch, I like Popeyes more. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Yeah, take that shit. Take that ghetto shit over there to KFC. Getting your pussy eight in the back of KFC is crazy. And the workers must be blind because KFC ain't that big. So where was she doing that at? <laughs> For contests, when Lucky and Lipo were dating, they used to work at KFC. They was doing that at work? Mm, that's nasty. Uh.
That's nasty. I guess that's when he ate her pum pum in the back of KFC one day and everyone including me were shocked because why the hell was she what, what would make her want to say that? Two minutes went by and then another staff member asked Kay to come inside to ask her some questions about what occurred upstairs. So me and Kay went inside to talk to them and then when we were done, we went back outside. We saw Ira was crying and we were confused. Lipo tried to confront her and step to her and talk shit. I automatically got pissed. I wanted to fight Lipo because she was doing the absolute most and another friend of ours who was there saw the whole thing and wanted to fight. Me, Kay, and Ira left our bags outside and wanted to go right outside to get my bag. But deep, I knew what I was going to do after. And the front desk lady who I was cool with knew what I was going to do and blocked me from trying to get into the building. So the lady eventually got our stuff and told us to calm down before we left the building. Paul and her friends, which included T. Grizzly, we stopped giving an F about them and went on, a, on with our business. So fast forward to April of 2021 towards the ending of senior year. I guess one day Lipo was mad and came into class. Mind you, it's 7 in the morning and I was chilling and tired. So I wasn't in the mood. Lipo catch herself getting loud with me talking about why my friend, which is Ira, is looking at her. I'm like, what Pop Smoke say? Lower your toe. Because you can get hit. Yeah. <laughs> say that in arguments. Just lower your tone. Because <laughs> you can get hit. Because <laughs> who the hell does she think she's speaking to? But me, I was trying to talk in a calm manner and I'm not even reciprocating that energy. So she got more mad. I was being calm and then T Grizzly had pulled her back telling her to calm down. And I'm like, yeah, calm, calm your ass down. Who you talking to? But I honestly didn't want to turn up on her for real. If I did trust, there wouldn't be no calming me down at that point. So a few weeks later in the morning, the school gossiper of our class came up to me and Kay and let us know that she found out that Lipo and T Grizzly were planning on jumping Ira and we were confused but we took the information and told Ira immediately. When she came to school she was kind of tense up and worried because she didn't want that to happen. So after hearing the news I was walking into my first period and mind you I had first period with Lipo and T Grizzly. So the second I walked into the classroom something told me to turn my music off in my airpods and try to see if the two were saying something so I did not so I did that and I overhear Grizzly telling Lipo, yeah, so let's do it around fourth or fifth period. And I'm like, oh, I got to text Ira and tell them what I heard. But mind you, fourth period is when Lipo and Ira had the same class together as well as T Grizzly. So that's why they plan to do it around the same time. Also, my third period class was in the classroom as with the same class as them. So as well. So when I would leave, they will be entering into the classroom. So honestly, in my head, I wanted to see if they were actually going to go through with it. Because regardless, I was going to jump in and T Grizzly had that bullshit with my friend. I was going to rock her. So fast forward to the next period. This was science class. The class was designed that regular chairs were in the front and the big lab desks were in the back of the class. T Grizzly was standing in a big lab desk big lab desk and she was at the she was at the one that was far behind me and I sat in the back of the regular desks I was casually talking to one of my classmates who sat in the front minding my own damn business and then all of a sudden T Grizzly called my classmate's name and I was trying to be funny and telling her hey can you get your friend that you're talking to I want to talk to her and she started butchering the living hell out of my name on purpose trying to get my attention she, she, and I was like T Grizzly without turning around I'm not finna talk to a bitch who want to act illiterate and say and don't say my say my name right or don't say it at all she proceeded to say to me why I got her name in my mouth and in my head and I'm like ain't nobody worried about your bad bill ass like leave me a, the f alone so I was like I don't be having the same name the same name of yours in my mouth and then she want to threaten me talking about if I hear my name in your mouth I'm gonna smack the hell out of you and then at that moment I started antagonizing her so I said so do it and she kept repeating herself saying that she was gonna do it and I'm like so what's stopping you and she was getting louder and I was about to get loud with her and in my mind I'm like I'm in class with one of my favorite teachers and I liked him so I didn't want the teacher to have a different perspective of me or see me in a different manner so basically I was really just teasing and antagonizing her and of course she got even more and more mad she did stand up calling me all types of ugly so after the whole thing happened I was so heated I went to the restroom and I went to the front desk lady and told her everything that happened and she promised that she wouldn't tell any of the staff or whatnot and eventually class was over and all my friends found me and I started to cry and it was not because I was scared or I was scared but I just wanted to beat the girl's ass so 
bad that I couldn't because it's our senior year and I didn't want to risk walking on the stage because of this girl. And my friends saw that and started comforting me and walked me to my next class. And that was third period. And during that period, people started asking me hella questions about what happened last period or whatnot. So I gave them the rundown. Bitch, you the news reporter. You ain't the, you ain't the school girl. But you reporting all the news at this point. Because why are you telling everybody? Like, when I used to get into arguments at school and people be like, what happened? I'd be like, I don't know. I'm so serious because why do you want to know what happened? Because after I tell you what happened, what are you going to do with that information? All you're going to say is, really? Ooh. Ah. Bitch, you... Bitch, I'm not going to waste the breath that God gave me for you to say ooh and ah. You to say ooh, ooh, ah, ah, like a monkey. You the news reporter. <laughs> When I was explaining to who T Grizzly was, some of them either like they seen the girl around, but they don't know her. Minutes pass by. Eventually, the teachers get a call and the administrator, one who was in charge of the students, told the teacher to tell me that I need to go down to the office. And I was like, what did I do to be going over there? First of all, you went and told the teacher. So... I know you said that the teacher didn't tell anybody, but I really just don't trust that. Like, you went and snitched. So, I know for a given fact, she went and told. Because that's her job. Because if something happened, God forbid, but if something detrimental happens and they find out that you warned her, but she didn't report it, she could be in trouble. So, I'm already knowing that she went and told one of the administrators what was going on. About the situation, and they said it was getting out of hand. Grizzly did... I told them what Grizzly did on me and I told them that if I could go back to class and they'll say they'll talk to her. So after third period ended when the jumping was supposed to take place and during the transition going to fourth period, everyone was around the classroom waiting for something to shake but nothing happened because they're pussy. T. Grizzly walked up to the administrator talking to him all friendly and shit. Acting fake like nothing happened when I passed her up. I literally yelled, you two-faced gremlin ass bitch. Walked off. So afterwards, I completely stopped being friends with Lipo because bitch you're whack as hell. So I was done with her and I never paid no mind to them girls ever again. Eventually graduated and it's been two years now and I'm just chilling on them. Them bitches at the school is irrelevant. And also, side note, when I was talking to the administrator, he was talking about if I get into any fights with anyone, that would cost me not being able to walk on stage for graduation. But literally not even two weeks later, after the whole thing, two boys got into a fight as well as two girls. And I literally watched them people names get called and watched them walk on stage. I think to myself, I should have really whooped these girls' asses. Here are the photos of each of the girls in person. Please do not show anyone. I am not. I'm not going to show anyone. I ain't. I ain't that messy. Bitch, I like to clock the tea, but bitch, I'm not gonna clock coffee. Like, I ain't that messy, okay? Hey, tea girls are not ugly. She just there. That's you. Cute little chocolate. Little chocolate girl. Your lips are pretty. I like two-tone lips. You got, like, dark lips at the top and, like, pink-ass lips at the bottom. I wish I had lips like that. Ira is pretty. I see why T. Grizzly was pressed. Press, 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 press. I see why T Grizzly was pressed because Ira is very pretty. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. So I can see why she's pressed. If y'all see the boy that they, cause a bit, like, let's keep it a bug. This whole fight started over a guy. If y'all see the boy that they're fighting over, you guys are going to scream. If you guys see the boy that they are going back and forth over, that mother, I don't know, I don't even know why you named him Lucky because bitch, he is not lucky. This nigga is ugly. That's what you should have called him. Like I told y'all, y'all be showing me gremlins whenever y'all y'all whenever y'all tell a story time about a nigga and then y'all send me the picture of how he looked, they be looking like they crawled onto the face of this earth. They looking like they snuck on earth. Like this man is ugly. Like, this boy is ugly as hell. His lips are ashy. Like, he looks like he has, like, he's just not cute. I'm sorry. His hairline is crooked. Like, he's not cute. I'm sorry. Like, this can't be the nigga that ended the whole friend group. I'm sorry. And this is Lipo. Lipo, she's just there. Are you guys African? Let me know down below. But it, it, it's giving y'all our African. But 
yeah y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel i feel like I, i've already been given all my commentary on this situation so y'all let me know how I, how y'all feel the story time was good but babe you definitely chose a side like you chose a side and yeah so you can't even get too bad at the fact that they included you in it because you really could have just remained neutral and let them duke it out with each other you know you chose a side you chose a side and it's cool it's cool ain't nothing wrong with choosing sides but you have to acknowledge the fact that you chose a side like you can't make it seem like they just put you into that fight like you chose a side and both of them were wrong in my opinion they both had wrong parts but y'all the viewers y'all type down below who y'all think was wrong was it ira the girl who didn't know about the boyfriend or was it lipo and yeah and also y'all if y'all are not subscribed to the channel what are you doing we're on the road to 50k we are on the road to 50k i need to go ahead subscribe tell your uncles to subscribe tell your brothers to subscribe tell your sisters to subscribe tell your mom your mom to subscribe tell your dog your dog to subscribe tell your cat to subscribe bitch if your bed could talk make sure you wake up and tell that motherfucker to subscribe tell your heir to subscribe tell your hot cone to subscribe anybody tell anybody tell the trees to subscribe tell god to subscribe y'all need to subscribe because we are on the road to 50k if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed do that and i love you guys so much and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye y'all